Yo, what is up guys? Yuki here. Today I will try and help you improve your mechanics with dribbling today. So if you're looking to improve your dribbles and your ground play and in general what you can do with the ball on the ground, then definitely keep watching this video. Make sure to subscribe to the channel as well for future content that you won't miss out on that. And yeah. Other than that, let's get into the video. Alright, so first thing I want you to do is to go in free play and use some slow-mo. I like to warm up instantly with some slow-mo because sometimes the game feels heavy. A lot of people say it is heavy car bug and stuff like this, but I personally think it's just uh, a matter of like starting and not being warmed up. So I like to do this at the start of my practice routine. I just... Um, press F2 in game with Backus Mod. Link is going to be in the description. It's very easy to download Backus Mod. It's just a very simple tool that can help you practice more efficient. So definitely recommend using it. If not, you can also do it with Exhibition Match in the um, lobby. You can create your own Exhibition Match and just put the game speed on slow motion. Here, I just like to do it half speed, so 0 0.5, and then just start to practice. Um, just start doing this for like five minutes. Just keep dribbling the ball in your car. Just keep it on the car. Power slide, use some power slide. And just always like keep the ball up uh, on your car. And yeah. Use a lot of power slide as well. Because you want to warm up your power slide possibilities. And like while you have the ball on your car. And like try and like not drop it as good as you can. And yeah, just do this for like 5 minutes. I'm not gonna do it for 5 minutes now because otherwise the video would be kinda long, but... Yeah, I'll just keep doing it for a little bit. Since I like to do this as well every now and then. And... Yeah, once you feel like you've done this for enough, then you wanna reset the game speed again. So let me do that really quick. F2. Uh, current game, game speed reset, now it's back to 1. Also you can drop uh, the ball right on your car with back as mod, so therefore you just have to like, go to quick settings and uh, select normal mode I think it is. And then as you can see here, down 1 for pass, left or 2 for rebound, right 3, roll 2 or 4 up to place on top of your roof. So if I press 4, the ball drops on my car from any position and then I can just dribble it. So I'm just you're just gonna keep dribbling it. Use power slide. Just try and like keep the ball up on your car. Jump, wave dash if you can, catch it. And yeah, just keep catching the ball and dribbling it. Go up the wall. Try and like drop while catching the ball. Wave dash. And yeah, just keep doing whatever as long as you keep the ball up and Practice your car control. You should be good to go. Um, don't have to be like super fast, but the faster obviously can be better if you can control it at the same time. But you don't want to like be too fast here, since it is a dribbles and not a ball chase. So you just want to like practice your control here. And yeah, click the ball. And yeah, so like now we just start flicking the ball at, uh, all the time. So here, for example, flick the ball, try and like catch it again, flick it, catch it, just keep uh, drifting as well, of course, uh, flick it again, catch it, keep drifting, of course, and keeping, uh, trying to like, keep the ball up the whole time, jump. Touch it, catch it, whatever you um, want to do in free play. As long as you like flick the ball. You don't have to like 100% like do this, what I'm doing right now, but it's just like an idea that I give you on how to improve your dribbles. So, and like fake, try and catch it, keep uh, power sliding. And yeah, just keep doing that, flick the ball. And you can also start like doing more difficult flicks. So for example, some 45 degree flick. So you just like 
uh, use uh, just like tilt your car otherwise and just like flick it with your corner then you can also try and do some masties or even breezy flicks like whatever you just any type of like flick basically where you keep the ball like close to you and you just keep flicking the ball around and trying to like, catch it also like a single jump could be useful and drop single jump catch wave dash and like whenever you go on the wall you want to try and drop and keep catching the ball basically that's what you want to aim at in this practice routine right now that i'm giving you so like whenever you're in the air just try and like drop on the floor and catch the ball at the same time then once you're doing this you can start um dribbling with an angle and like doing bounce dribbles keep the ball right left right left right and just take a shot so like more angle so you just like always like go from side to side and like keep keeping it like that and then you cut in and shoot whatever you want to do as long as you like keep the ball like bouncing you should be good to go with an angle and then you just take a shot in the end so just keep doing that doesn't have to be on target just has to be like a powerful shot basically uh while you like dribble and punch you can also like start doing it like while the ball is in the air it doesn't have to be like a bounce shot it can also be like a volley where it's like in the air so like you have like cut here and then i instantly shoot it doesn't have to necessarily be like a bounce shot but as long as you like keep the ball bouncing should be like good to go just from uh, side to side and yeah whenever it's on the wall you want to try and like drop down and catch it again and yeah, just keep doing the bounce dribbles so from angle like this and then you can uh just pretend like there's an opponent like it sounds kind of like dumb but that's what i sometimes do uh just pretend like i imagine that there would be a defender right now and then i just try and like give myself less time and trying to like make it dribble fast basically and yeah just keep doing that for a little bit then once you're done with this like keep doing your power slides practice them like this where you just like have to fall on your car and you just power slide just power slide around and just try and like get good control while power sliding And like once you've done this for like another five minutes or so, you can start doing uh, even like air dribbles. Because in once that's kind of useful. Uh, if you start off here, you just double jump, pop it up and then air dribble and then go for a bump for example. Or you can even uh, like just go for a normal like air dribble, uh, whatever you want to do. You can even go like... Uh, to the backboard with it i'm pretty sure if you just like keep like dribbling and then you can get a double touch off the backboard or something if you get enough height on it and you can just do it. a lot of things like this if you double pop it because like uh air dribble bumps are probably the most useful things in 1v1 and in general dribbles so you want to definitely practice that you can also like use just some arrow left and stuff you know like the the more advanced you are the more you can like mess around here and just air dribble while you like pop the ball up and yeah once you did that um i would recommend you to also on top of that go into a workshop map a dribbling challenge so like depending on how good you are you can either do this dribble challenge hashtag 2 or the floor is lava or lefemir's dribble challenge like whatever you want to do i'm going to go with the easy one to show you guys for the people that like are not um, or that are struggling to keep the ball up properly so yeah you just like do this just keep the ball up and just like always like dribble it uh, in the net but the more difficult you are the more you can like freestyle around like use some power slide whatever you want to do and just like flick the ball also to the black wall there and yeah just mess around just keep doing the levels and 
Yeah, this will also like help you just to have some more variety and so that the practice won't get as boring, you know? Because sometimes practicing here can be boring, right? Like in free play. If you don't really want to practice. And this is like a little bit more variety. Like sometimes you gotta switch it up, right? What you wanna do. So workshop map can definitely be a good switch up. So just do that right after you did all the free play work. Um, and yeah, just keep like trying to like catch the ball and like control it really well and all that stuff. And once you did that for another 20, 20 minutes, you should be ready to grind some ones and hopefully get some victories <laughs> and rank up. But I think that was all for today's video. Um, let me know what you think and also if you have tried this out, if it worked or helped you improve your ground play and slash dribbles. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and also rate the video with a thumbs up. And other than that, thank you so much for watching and good luck with the grind, man. Peace.